beautifully timed. My goodness, the balance. Sunshine Snacks power shot of the evening. And third man up in the ring. That is well hit. That's hit on the up. It's the first hero maximum of the contest. Well, regardless of the deep mid on being in place, Smith still feels he's strong enough, powered enough, and good enough to clear it. And he is effortless. Going to be more comfortable getting runs on the board. Here's Mitch McLennan. Spanked, absolutely pummeled. That is the beauty, the muscle of Smith. Well, as a slot. The captain's on and he drops one a bit short and he gets put away for four. 50 comes up, first ball of the eighth over. Now, has he got a top edge here or has it gone for six? That is a very powerful set of arms holding that cricket bat. It's a hero man. Oh, that's wide and what a catch. That's a terrific catch by Jesse Reiner. A Republic Bank classic catch, if ever you saw one, a very good catch. Well, a wide Yorker edged. Short third man in place and diving for brilliantly. Take a bow, Jesse Ryder. Kyle Mayers resumes. Gone again. How about this? Myers strikes again with his second delivery. It's two in two. Malik gone for a duck. It's 72 for two. Trident. Stuck it down to mid wicket and brilliantly taken by Marlon Samuels. That is a really good and outstanding piece of catching. Well, the bowler should actually walk over to Marlon Samuels and give him a huge. That's one for McLanagan to uh, tell his mates. He's got rid of his fellow countryman and captain, King Williamson, for 46. It's 94 for three. Easy as you like. To be honest, he never looked as though he hit that with any sort of power. 100 comes up for the Tridents. Middle of the leg stump, and he's just so powerful there. Chillingford said catch. I think more for the people. So two years ago, Nicholas Puran started to to walk again. So he's done extremely well in his rehab. Oh, that was inviting. Oh, captain, captain. Oh dear. Down to long off. Over long off. Wow, what power. What power. Never hear a maximum from Pollard. Takes him to eight for the tournament. This shot. No pace on it. 98 kilometers. He steps away and flat bats it straight over me. That is just enough. Just enough on that eastern side of the ground. Two of two of Chillingford. This is number one. Flat. Very few in the world can do that. This one's a miss hit. But because of his power, because of his strength and the size of the bat, it still carries. You have to feel for the bowler. The fine leg. I think Jerome might continue going wide above stump. He goes wide. Oh, what a shot. What a shot from Nicholas Puran all the way for six. You can see that players are really starting to expand their game. Will he go short? Oh, lovely, lovely choice from Puran. Lovely, smart. Long off came up to mid off. 
this is the problem, you miss it. And if you miss it, it either goes in a hittable length when you, or you get your full toss. So, two. Long off, square leg comes up. He hasn't hit this, he hasn't hit it. Johnson Charles coming around. Johnson Charles takes the catch. Good running catch. And Jerome Taylor strikes back. He ran every bit of about 40 metres to get underneath that to dismiss Nicholas Perrin. He goes for 18. It's 146 for four. 73. the biggest I've seen in this tournament that is magnificent right in the arc shot boy well this is the concern when you change the ball it's a little bit harder and comes onto the bat even nicer 131 kilometers an hour was delivered oh he's tucked that around the corner brilliantly Yeah, again, sure. Swatted away again. Jerome Taylor is bleeding here in these last couple of overs. He's lofted that into the offside. This has been a whirlwind effort from Kyron Pollard. They may check to see whether it's six or four. But a comprehensive stamp. Very comfortable position. The openers, Smith and Williamson, started off well, struck the ball really well. And then two wickets and two balls from Cole Mayer. The ball straight away. Akil Hossein. Well, that went on with the arm runs here chasing 197 is Ravi Rampal and Fletcher Andre Fletcher who has been in the runs gets off the mark straight away with a boundary first ball third man comes up into the ring so scarce have the runs been for the St. Lucia Stars oh that's horrible Imran Khan Oh dear. Line of the ball. And that'll be four. Too short, fine leg up. Well, this. Short, too short. That's asking to be hit. It's a flat hero maximum. He always felt it was a bit of a gamble. To bowl Imran Khan this stage, particularly to someone like Johnson Charles, who is very, very powerful. So anything short. So could you lip read that day? Bit short, short of a length. Man out there, good catch. Dwayne Smith. He doesn't drop many, and it went straight to him. So Johnson Charles after an entertaining 17 ball innings has to go and it was good while he was there and that's what they'll need flicked straight to pollard easily done and wahab Riaz celebrates all too easy that was for wahab Riaz. Yeah, i'm afraid it's the end of uh, andre fletcher he's gone for 17 Straight away, no, this is uh, not going the St. Lucia's way. It's Pollard again, you just can't keep him out of the action. It's all too easy for Barbados Tridents, and that's another failure for Cameron Akbal. His season hasn't started. Oh, such a poor shot again from Cameron Akbal. Goes for a first ball duck, and all of a sudden it's 42 for three. Ship. Effortless. Wonderful blow that is by Marlon Samuels, a hero maximum, and he'll feel very happy with that.
Well, he doesn't boast an average in the mid-30s in this format without having skill like He's more familiar at the top of the order, so it's interesting for him to come in at five. And I think that's one of the potential issues this star's lineup has, is that a 4,000 run for Samuels. Has he gone? Has he gone? The finger's gone up and Wayne Parnell takes a wicket with a very wide delivery. An El Dorado celebration of some note for Parnell. And uh, Marlon Samuels on the forlorn wharf back. This is a procession now for the St. Lucia Stars. He's gone for 10, 53 for 4. And they've lost four wickets very quickly. And Wayne Parnell picks up a wicket with, uh, on another day, he probably would have sailed over extra cover. But now Shane Watson. Score! It's a great catch. A Republic Bank classic catch. A brilliant catch by Nick Poran. And unfortunately for the home fans, St. Lucia Stars are suffocating here. This is brilliant stuff by the Tridents. Shane Watson, it's a first ball duck. Welcome to the CPL 2017, Shane. It's 53 for five. Sport across the islands. We well, you know we're very, very lucky that we had uh, Darren Sammy here. I'm just going to interrupt you there. We've got a hero maximum, a huge six just on cue. I think they've spotted the prime minister down. Really elevated the sport. So for us here in St. Lucia and also for the Caribbean to give this... In the air. In the air. Deep square leg coming. Deep square leg takes it. Well, sometimes tonight the short ball has some merit. Good catch from Akilo Singh. Field and too much for Jesse Ryder, who goes for 10, 64 for 6. That is taken off and into the grass banks. Some shot from Sammy. This is the end wants to go he's slightly his stance is very open so his front leg is certainly out of the way so he's looking to go straight and on just enough on it back to back from Sammy he tested him again Probably expecting him not to expect another halfway down delivery, but uh, off the splice of the bat, but still enough. Now then, how well has he caught this? Oh, he's caught it very well. That's tremendous hero maximum from Darren Sammy. He could be a hero here if he keeps going at this rate of knots. Inside out, over extra. Makes them all dance in the terraces. Well, this is a trademark shot of Darren Sammy. Again, keeping that front leg open. It's a snack. Ended the over 108 for four. Well, this is six. It's another six, and it's a half century for Darren Sammy. That's the fastest in this 2017 Hero CPL. Darren Sammy raises bat. It's a brilliant knock, this, and it's keeping St. Lucia's stars in this. Loise and Lauder Hill. It's got to be a wide. Good looking shot. It'll gain four for it, and that ball swung off the bat. Both you. So there you go, 196 for four to.
daunting target. Pollard was, you just couldn't bolt him. The Tridents scored six uh, in the last six overs, a hundred runs against the St. Lucia Stars, who began to look very ragged in the field, overthrows and mischances.